What's all that screaming, bro? Hello, hello, and hello. You're tuning in to another episode of The Wonderkin Show. Hey, yo, listen, guys, I am so happy to be back. Nitro finally came to his senses and let me join back the show. And you remember, I came in, I think it was like episode like 200. I wish we get to 400 to come back. Jeez, Nitro be tripping, bro. But guess what? I am back. <laughs> and you know what my song is. Pour some sugar on me. I'm going to find it. Hey. But let me tell you what we're going to talk about. This is going to be a total recap of the Ravens off season. Because remember, I really haven't been with you guys. Like, I haven't seen you guys. I've been working at the record store. I mean, it's only like two customers a week, but... Bro, it allows me to listen to all of the greats, the rock and roll gods of destruction. So let's talk about the Ravens, all right? Let's get to it. And first off, we're going to talk about what happened. The Lamar Jackson contract. I was absolutely stoked. I was like, bro, my black brother, you get your money. Honey, I was like, bump it up, bump, 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 bump it up. Just watch that, watch it, watch that, watch it. I was going crazy when he got it. So let's be real. The Ravens had a lot of time to get this done, and they waited, and they waited, and then we, the fans, had to hear Lamar Jackson come out and, and say he requested a trade. It hurt my heart. It was like thorns. You understand what I mean, thorns? Huh? Every rose has its thorns. Seems like every night has its dawn. Oh. And it hurt inside. So we had to watch all of that go down. And it was, tr it was troubling, bro. I remember where I was. I was drinking a Coca-Cola, literally like, oh, uh, slushy, bro. And then I was sitting there like, what? He doesn't want to be a raven no more. Oh, no. I mean, look, Nitro's favorite person is Lamar, right? That's like his guy. They're like this. You know what I mean? I was surprised he even got the interview. I was like, bro, how lucky are you? My guy, Nitro. <laughs> it's Andrews, bro. I like him manhandling those guys. But I still didn't want to see Lamar go nowhere. I was like, no, no. Who's going to throw Andrews the ball? But whatever. Thank God the Ravens came to their senses and got it done. So guess what we got? We got him on an amazing deal, making him the highest paid player in the NFL, deservedly so. And anybody that doesn't believe that he didn't deserve his money, oh. that's for you. Huh? you oh, did that happen too fast? Huh? Huh? Did that happen too fast for you? Oh. There it goes from the hip, baby. Oh. Dude, I'm a slapaholic. Oh, dude. I'm so funny, right? Just, okay, Nardrick, calm down. Okay, I'll get back on topic. Gee, just calm down, bro. All right, so then now we got huh, Lamar signed. Now, with Lamar, through my eyes, right, I think he's going to have his greatest season this year. I mean, think about it, bro. The last two seasons, he was on record paces. He was on pace for one year to throw, like, combined. Like, throw, like, what was it? Like, 45 or 5,000 yards one of the seasons and have a combined of about 6,000 yards total. And you know at least 1,000 to 1,200 yards of that's coming from my guy, Mandrews. I don't even call him Mark. He's a man amongst men. But that's what he was on pace for, dude. And I'm sitting here looking at him like, bro, how can the Ravens disrespect the quarterback? In my days, quarterbacks got what they want. Look at Brett. Man. But thank God that got 
you know, work through, but shawty, shout out to you, bro. Ha. I couldn't imagine Baltimore without Lamar, bro. Ha. I swear, you're righteous, God. You're okay in my book. And then after it came out, because think about this. It was like, oh, Lamar came out with this thing talking about some, there's going to be a lot of flocking this year. Then Nitro and Ing Raven get the interview of the year, bro. And right after that, guess what happens? <laughs> Draft time. <laughs> and I'm sitting there like, bro, who are we going to get? Who are we going to team up with our newly acquired OBJ? And let me be real with you. That was the biggest acquisition this offseason. Even though I'm really not going in because it's such a big topic to go into. I mean, you have so many people on one side. Is he healthy enough? Can he take the NFL beating? Can he still run the routes? Can he stay healthy? And of course, I believe he can. It's OBJ. I mean, let me tell you something right now, bro. He was in Cali, had an all-white party. I mean, I don't even know how he got invited. <laughs> but he was there, respected by all. They want to take pictures with my wide receiver. I mean, tell you the truth, <laughs> I wouldn't need clothes for an all-white party. All I need is my name. <laughs> pop it up, pop, 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 pop it up. But whatever. So. Then we go to the draft, and we get Zay Flowers. Now, look, I was one of the proponents that wanted a D-Hop or a Mike Evans. Me and Nitro would have arguments about this. I'm more of a D-Hop guy. He's more of a Mike Evans guy. You know what I'm saying? But D-Hop, I'm telling you, bro, with those dreads, it's like he's like Samson, bro. Grow his hair, super strength, one-handed over the defense. You can't stop it. I'm telling you guys, Lamar, D-Hop, OBJ, Zay Flowers, that wide receiver core would absolutely be Bossanova. But whatever, we didn't get him. Hopefully none of our rivals get him. So then we got Zay, and I'm cool with Zay. I think Nitro calls him Zonic. <laughs> Zay and Sonic. It's crazy, bro. But... What do I see when I see him? I'm not going to lie. I see a young Steve Smith Sr. I don't know if you guys are, are old enough to remember Steve Smith Sr. on the Panthers. But let me tell you something right now. Triple crown winner. He was like a faster, stronger, better jumping Cooper Cup before Cooper Cup. I'm telling you guys. And I'm sitting there like, man, we're going to get him. Oh, man. And I'm telling you, I was on like a, like, a, like a countdown almost, guys. I mean, a countdown to when and who we were going to pick. You know where I'm going with this. It's the final countdown. And it worked out. Now, Zay Flowers is a raven. And you know what all I've been seeing this offseason? Work. That's all he's been doing. Working out with Lamar. Busting his tail, putting in the work, putting in the time, putting in the dedication. So I want to say salute to you. So this offseason has been nothing short of an absolute roller coaster, bro. And I don't know how much more of that could have took. But Nitro was telling me, stay calm, Whitro, stay calm. You know how you get, I could get a little bit explosive. But anywho, Lamar signed. Mandrews has his guy back throwing him the ball. And guess what Mandrews has? He has two guys on the outside that can take away defensive pressure. So if Lamar's watching Whitro right now, if you're watching me rock out, bro, I just want to tell you something, bro. Home sweet home. And I know you know that song, bro, because you're from like down there. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like uh, Nitro went down there to see you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Miami, surf's up, Fort Lauderdale, sunshine. <laughs> Boston Nova, I'm telling you. But that's what we've had so far this offseason with Lamar, with OBJ, and with Zay. 
Now, everybody else is talking about, oh, what are you going to think about what this team's capabilities are? Capabilities. Bro. 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 The capabilities of this team are absolutely starship level. I think this team has the capability with the with the defense to go all the way. And by all the way, I mean Super Bowl. And I don't mean by just I'm talking about embarrassing people, bro. People seem to forget what we got on defense, bro. Roquan, absolute monster. Hamilton, young monster. Marcus Williams, monster. Humphrey, old monster. The only thing I'm sad about, bro, and I have to bring it up, is that my guy, Marcus Peters, doesn't seem to be coming back to the Ravens. I'm going to miss you, Marcus. Your time here meant the world to me, bro. Stepping on the Titans insignia on the middle of the field. That showed unison. That, sound, that sounded like camaraderie to me. I'm telling you guys, it hurt me, bro. When Marcus Pierce was like, when am I coming back? You know, the Ravens weren't ready to come and bring it back and everything. I was like, bro, tell me this is not so. But it is. And it doesn't look like we're getting it back, neither. I don't know much more to do. Everything I do, I do for you. That's the only thing I want back. And of course, we lost our middle interior monster, Calais. I thought they were going to bring back Calais, bro. I really did. I mean, when he's out of the middle of the lineup, we get run on. But I think they're putting, like, their stock in, like, Michael Pierce and stuff like that. Justin Matabike. Ah. And also this offseason, what we've seen since minicamp is the emergence of a Jabo. Now, I know people saying, why do you say a uh, Jabo? Because I want to accentuate the O. Oh, because I think there's going to be a lot of, oh, my gods, this season when he's wrecking your quarterbacks. Ha ha. I'm telling you about, they're going to be running for their lives. Like, I'm a dude, she's a dude, he's a dude, but we're all dudes. Hey! I'm telling you, bro, it's going to be absolutely bossing over with him on the line. Finally healthy. Pencil him in for 12 sacks this season. Huh. Huh. I'm telling you, bro. Sitting here wondering what the Ravens are going to do, it makes me feel nice inside. Because to tell you the truth, this offseason for most Raven fans started off rocky. Because we didn't know if we were going to have Lamar. And I'm like, bro, how are you going to trade away or let go Andrew's main man? And oh, I forgot to say, on top of that, the tight end room looks absolutely stacked. My guy, Mark Andrews, Mandrews. Has backup. I say it like it looks like a dog, bro. Like absolutely crazy out there. He can make a ha, 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 ha. man. He got them swift feet, sweet feet. Huh, what's that game y'all play? Pause. Ha, ha, ha. But still, I mean, Kolar, Andrews, likely. Seems like the tight end room is stacked, guys. Well, pretty much it's been the whole offseason for the Ravens, bro. Lamar's contract, the acquirement of OBJ, picking up Zay in the draft, and Marcus Peters not being brought back. But I'm holding out hope on that, guys. I'm telling you, I'm holding out hope for that. Because we need him. We need Marcus Peters. And it's a feeling, and so I'm telling you, listen, this defense could be absolutely something historical. But I have a feeling that it needs a final piece, and I think Marcus Peters is that missing piece, bro. Huh? Shout out to Rock Your Sin, bro. I mean, Rock is in your name, bro. So you know I rock with you, dude. But Marcus Peters brought the attitude. He brought the rage. 
It's like Joe and Jet back in the day, bro. I don't give a damn about my reputation. That's the energy he brings, bro. And now he's gone. I don't even know what to do. But if he comes back, the feeling I have inside my chest is absolutely, positively explosive. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, this year could be the year that we go all the way. And we're going to rename the Lombardi, the Mumbardi for Mark Andrews, bro. I can't fight this feeling any longer. Have forgotten what I started fighting for. It's time to put this ship into the shore and throw away the oar forever. I'm telling you guys, rock is the blood of life. Shout outs, man. I'm telling you guys, my whole life is rocking ravens, bro. R&R. &R. I'm a rough rider. Hold on. What's that game again? Pause. Aw, oh, dude. I'm telling you. But how do you think the Ravens did this offseason? If I had to split it up, give it a grade. Oh, I give it an A. Plus. Plus, dude. I mean, retaining your QB, getting other stuff for the weapons outside would freeze up the middle for my guy, Mark Andrews. EDC, I'm telling you, bro, I'm going to call you the glue because your head's shiny like one, and I can see the Ravens' future in it, bro. Shout-outs to you for doing your job great. Yeah, bro. Ha. <laughs> I'm bro, after this thing, I'm telling you, bro, I'm taking down my truck and I'm going surfing, guys. <laughs> rock on, rock on. But what do you guys think? Do you think the Ravens did an amazing job this offseason? Let me know down in the comment section because it'll actually be me, Whitro, commenting back. No, no, Nitro, I don't care. You're not going to stop me, bro. You're not going to stop me from commenting this time. Every time. He stops, he says, I'm too eccentric. I'm like, bro, you're eccentric. We're two peas in the pod, bro. Two sides to a coin. Oh. But that's another episode of the Warner King Show. Thank you all for watching, all right? You guys know how you do it. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. You know Nitro loves the comments. And Nitro will too. Just be a little bit respectful. If not, huh, unlike Nitro, I got the hands. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I'm a rock star. And if you would like to donate to this channel, bottom of the screen, QR code, cash app, description. Huh, what is it name? Money sign, The Wonder Kin Show. All right, but once again, it's the Wonder Kin Show. This is your host, Whitro, signing off. And as always, you know this channel's slogan. Peace. And we're out. And before we're out, I'm going to sing to you one more time. Pour some sugar on me. I'm going to find it. Pour some sugar on me.